Paid Memberships Pro version 3.4 is live. So today I'm gonna give you a highlights reel of all the new features, enhancements, bug fixes, and some refactors that paved the way for future releases. Hey, I'm Kim Coleman. Today I'm giving you an overview of Paid Memberships Pro version 3.4. We have a lot of exciting features in here and I'm excited to show them to you today. First thing I wanna talk about is localization and translations. So our Paid Memberships Pro plugin has always been localized, so you can translate it into the language of your choice and your area. So one thing we did in this release is made it compatible with our own translation server. We're gonna be releasing more information about how to get involved with this and how to submit translations for our site, but it's gonna live at this domain, translate.strangerstudios.com. Join our Slack community and reach out in the Translate channel to get invited to be a translation editor for your language but we're gonna be adding all of our free and premium add-ons into this system so that all sites using Paid Memberships Pro can dynamically pull fresh translations on the fly for our premium add-ons. We never offered this before, so it's very exciting uh, just getting started with this as a new feature. Another cool thing that came is to help people make better membership account pages. So right now we have this section, My Memberships. We added a way that we can insert text into these cards just via the editor on the site. So let's see, I was beginner, if I edit beginner here, I can say add this here on the single edit membership level screen. In the membership account me message, I can add, you know, links to features here. Uh, and you can add any content in there. It's a WYSIWYG text editor. And then any member that has that level will see those features on the card on their membership account page. If people had multiple levels, they would have multiple versions of these cards with all the content specific to those levels that they have. I want to talk about another backend update that was done, which is for our reports. We've added the ability to filter the sales and revenue report by a custom time range. So you can now select custom range and choose your date range that could span across months or years to generate that view. We also have a, a levels filter for multiple levels. So if you wanted to see a few different levels of data, but not all levels of data, you can now do that as well as discount codes features that same thing. Another cool report improvement is to show the data right below the chart. So I don't have data in this testing site, but before this chart, this table of data wasn't here, but it was uh, available to us. We have it as an exportable CSV. Um, but now we're showing it right there just to give you the raw data snapshot right on the report page. Uh, you can take this data, copy and paste it into a spreadsheet without having to pass around those CSV files anymore. That data table is on the sales and revenue report as well as the membership stats report. If I pop over to my settings email template screen, this looks a lot like version 3.3, but the change here is that if you edit a single template, what formerly used to be was a list of all possible variables now it's gonna show you exclusively the variables that we know are available to the template you're editing. There might be other variables that still kind of work. I know that you can use user meta field names in any email template for the user that the email is about, but this is just gonna help people not insert template variables that aren't possible based on the context of the email that's being sent. So it's just an improvement to the user experience for you guys when you're editing your sites that you don't inadvertently put a template variable that doesn't actually exist. Behind the scenes of the email, there's a lot of refactoring that went into place that's going to make it easier for you to add email templates and your custom code or in an add-on for add-ons to insert templates into the screen. We have a lot of ideas for email in the future, and we did this uh, under the hood refactoring to improve the structure of it so it's ready for those features. Another under the hood improvement was some logic of how user fields are stored and how user fields are displayed on the front end of the site. We did a lot of simplification so that the user field code is ready for improvements down the road. I know you won't necessarily see those improvements. One area that you'll see it coming to is our member directory features. Right now, uh, this is still using a legacy directory version, but we're gonna be updating our directories add-on and profiles add-on to leverage these new features in Paymarks Pro 3.4 for more consistent field output, but also better filters. So if you have a custom field you wanna show in a special way, there's gonna be a ways to do that uh, with your user field. There are a few smaller updates that don't really have a visual impact, but I'm gonna talk through them here. I have my phone with our change log, but I'm gonna highlight a few that I think are interesting to talk about uh, and we'll get you thinking and, and digging into that code a little bit. One of the changes is uh, localizing the formatted dates in our subscription class. This is a developer focused part of this talk, but before you weren't able to show like a localized term when the subscription price was output. If it was $30 per month, 
the previous version didn't properly localize that, so the per month part couldn't be translated. Now we fixed that. We also did some adjustments to the checkout and the checkout level. So formerly the profile start date, which is the day that the subscription will begin after checkout, uh, was only possible after the first order was created. Now we've moved that so it happens at the checkout. Experience is a lot easier to calculate and set start dates when the subscription is created uh, going this route. Uh, another checkout improvement too relates to how discount codes uh, are part of checkout. It's now also part of the checkout level object. So just technical things that are improving how the checkout works, paving the way for multi-step checkout, which is a future improvement we plan to do, um, but needed to do some of these refactors and code improvements so that we could always pass around the checkout level as a complete object in the code. There's a bug fix that some people might be excited for, also relates to user fields. When a user field is required at checkout, it wasn't properly showing the highlighted uh, checkout error class on the field value. So now that's fixed. When checkout submits and fields are missing, it's validating the fields and all of the fields get the proper uh, contextual color highlight. And you can extend that with custom code if you have custom CSS that you wanna do with these fields. It's not just visually more uh, accessible for sites, but also giving you the freedom to highlight fields in the way that you want to show what's required. There are a few deprecations specifically in our gateways, and I know we're getting slim on the gateways that are integrated, but we've deprecated three gateways in this release. We've deprecated PayFlow, which is a PayPal product that's no longer integrated with Paid Merchants Pro in the way we handle subscriptions. We've also deprecated Braintree, which is being absorbed by PayPal and will no longer operate as a standalone payment gateway. And also PayPal standard, which is not the way that we recommend sites. Connect with PayPal. PayPal Express is the recommended way and still part of Paid Memberships Pro's core plugin. There are many more items in the change log, so I encourage you to click through and the description of this video and read through the release post. Lots of small technical things, lots of bug improvements to continue making Paid Memberships Pro the best membership platform. Thank you for watching this quick highlight reel of Paid Memberships Pro version 3.4. We're excited for this release and all of the improvements, bug fixes, features, refactors, everything that went into it from our whole team. A lot of this you'll see is under the hood stuff. It's preparing for the future, which we're always doing, looking to keep growing Paid Memberships Pro. I hope you all have a great day.